when the Eskimo here out in the woodlot. Nothing fancy. Just want to show you my sax. My neighbor gave it to me. He knows I mess with wood all the time. It is a uh, Kelly Perfect felling axe. Got the back there. You can put wedges into wood. Pretty good. Now, I've just been using it out here. It's been splitting pretty good. I got my chainsaws. I'm going to cut a lot of wood in there. I had cut for my son. This is all for my son right now. But yeah, what a, what a find, man. You know, true temper, Kelly perfect, like almost like brand new. Uh, really nice. Hope I can edit this into something. We'll see. I don't know. But uh, some of my other equipment. Got my fuel. Yeah. Use I use uh, made in USA here. Um, the mix high test. Mystery oil and star sun in there it works really good, very nice. And my small saw, bigger saw, my Dixie, Dixie wood PV from down south. Had this for years, nice and stout and strong, very nice. Love it, love it. Uh, my friend or my son has a Garvey. I also have a PV PV from Maine. That's at my man cave. But uh, yeah, what do I do with that axe now? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Anyways, I'm gonna take a walk over to the. Uh, I split some wood. I'll use this. Uh, it works pretty good splitting, you know. I'm just trying it out, you know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, a few pieces I had down here. Again, on some of my videos, I'm always spouting all what kind of, I got red oak. I think it's uh, Quercus belagosia, not Quercus rubum, because that's scarlet. Uh, and I mentioned Betula lenta. Yes, I have black birch. We have a lot of black birch out here. Uh, we use that. And then I have the Acer rubrum, which is the the uh, red maple. And uh, I don't know if I could set this up. A lot of, a lot of blueberries here. Blackberries and but I, you know, bears, foxes, stuff will eat it. And I'll show you some of the stuff here. It's kind of past season right now. Past the season. They taste good. But it is past season here for berries. There's the, the road goes up there. It's a big area. It's huge. It has a tree farm sign on with my name on it. But, uh, pretty cool. It's about, uh, I'd say 26 degrees C. Now I'm from the U.S., but I'm just letting people know. Uh, I have both, all my gauges have, you know, centigrade and Fahrenheit. I'd say around 77 to 80 today, that's what it's going to be. Very, very humid. So, I don't know what the hell we can do here, but we'll, uh, these are bad pieces, but red oak usually splits pretty good. Give it a shot. See what we can do here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Nice mat. Uh, get a little tougher here. I'll go to my son. I, I, I was planning on cutting today. It's not splitting. Not doing anything. Right now. Just doing what. This axe out. One thing, it's, it sticks in there. It gets in there. The backside's good for the wedges. Yeah, these are kind of odd pieces. What happened here? Silk splits pretty good. These are odd pieces, though. Does stick in though quite a bit, just so you know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna split some more. I, I can't, you know, I got I got work to do here. But uh, I want to make a small video. I got another one when the chainsaw is going. I hope to do a lot of cutting. Last time, came in one day, cut, pretty much got all my wood for the year from that one day of cutting. So. 
I'm going to do that. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm going to have some pictures coming from the burnt toe, various people, various things. We're in the primitive archery range, my son and I, and uh, we saw a nice frog jumping, you know. So my son took a picture of it. It was a wood frog, uh, Rhenus sabbaticus. He got a nice picture of it. I'll probably put it on a slide for burnt toe. We had a good time up there. My bear is nice and trimmed now because I don't have to look like a crazy mountain man. Trimmed it down for the summer. So, but uh, yeah. Damn. But anyways, um, yeah, we had a great time up there. We had the scouts come up. They, we smoked some trout. My friend Kevin brought the scouts up to show my big char cloth. Smoked some trout. We had some good eating for sure. We have a good time, no doubt about it. And we had a little memorial shoot for my friends. Like if you see my frozen toe slide video, some of my friends that passed away, great, great guys. I mean, great outdoorsmen too, great. But, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, I'd say it's gonna take me about a year to really get all this YouTube stuff done. I really, my, my hand goes out to these people who are trying to do this to make a living or to, I mean, it's like, hell, that's a tough job, you know. It's not my intent. My son said, hey, Dad, you got a YouTube thing. I gave you, all right, well, I'm, I'm having fun, and uh, I'll do it. And, uh, yeah, split's pretty good. Um, you know, split wood, I just want to try it out. Great fun, I mean. Not even a fine. My neighbor gave it to me because I'm always chopping wood and stuff. Well, I suppose when things get pretty rough and he's free, he does have a fireplace, but that's inefficient. So he may uh, have a stove I can put in there for him if he wants, but uh, he may need a few morsels of wood. I'll have to remember they gave me an axe or something, you know. But, uh, but yeah, sometimes storms bring out all the neighbors together, which is a good thing. Not a good thing that trees are down all over the place knocking things down, but uh, yeah, that's it. She's a beauty, man. Beautiful find. Kelly Perfect. Yeah. Nice find for a nice gift. So I got the helmet. I got all my gear on here. You see why you got the gear on there? The horizontal cuts really get you, man. They get you. Uh, Watching for the ticks, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave my stuff here. Walk back to my car. A lot of berries here. Yeah, there'd be animals eating here. Uh, the loggers were in here. They have a lot. They knocked down a lot of trees. Normally, there's always two people here when you take down trees. That's a new rule to have. It's a good rule because trees do tricky things. So, yeah, a little bit of old wood. My son off to dry it out. I'll get some more, but uh, once I get going. I don't know if I'll set up a camera or not. Um, I got I got to cut a lot of wood, so I, got, I don't have the. So I, I can make a tripod. I brought some duct tape and things, but I don't know about that, you know. But uh, gorgeous, gorgeous being in the woods, man. It's just outstanding. Really nice here. Nice animals. Really nice. So, okay, man. Take it easy.